Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Welcome to this lecture on transition metal organometallic chemistry from principles to applications. In our last lecture, we discussed about transition metal sigma aryl complexes, particularly with respect to their stability, which arise due to the interaction of transition metal with aryl ligand. And what we had observed that the two interactions which are crucial to transition metal organometallic complexes which are these so ligand to transition metal sigma interaction and transition metal to ligand pi back donation is very crucial to bring about the stability of transition metal aryl complexes. And what we had seen that the influence of transition metal to ligand sigma pi back donation causes extra stability to transition metal aryl complexes with regard to transition metal sigma alkyl complexes. So, this extra stability results in higher bond energy of transition metal aryl bond and also subsequently higher decomposition temperatures and we had seen that with respect to titanium tetraphenyl that decomposes above 0 degree centigrade whereas titanium tetramethyl decomposes at minus 40 degree centigrade. In our discussion we had also seen how this transition metal to ligand pi interaction brings kinetic stability to this mesetyl metal PR3 whole 2 type square planar complexes. And that was explained by this transition metal to ligand pi interaction occurring between this ligand pi star orbital So, this is transition metal to ligand pi star orbital that brings about stability to transition metal allyl complexes. So, with that we saw that this transition metal allyl complexes are somewhat more stable than transition metal sigma alkyl complexes. Now, today we are going to see another very interesting application of transition metal aryl complexes with regard to the formation of metallobenzenes. And metallobenzenes are an important class of molecules in which the metal itself is a part of the benzene frameworks 
and this is a very interesting applications of transition metal aryl complexes. in metallobenzenes where the metal is part of a benzene ring and the metallobenzene has been prepared for osmium in the reaction PPH3 whole 3 osmium CO CS in presence of C2 H2 acetylene methyl iodide giving this metallobenzene complexes of osmium having a SME substituent with 2 PPH3 and 1 CO and iodide ligands. So, this benzene with a metal which is osmium occupying a vertices of the benzene ring is called osma benzene. So, these metallobenzenes are similar to organic benzene in with regard to they being planar aromatic displaying equal bond lengths and also showing downfield enamel shifts. So, osma benzene is planar aromatic exhibit equal carbon-carbon bond length downfield signal in proton NMR 1H resonance for benzene it comes at around 7. So, similar downfield resonance of these protons ring protons. and undergoes electrophilic aromatic substitution. So, this is an important application or of metal aryl compounds whereby uh, inorganic analog of the very famous organic molecule benzene can be prepared and these metallobenzene can also exhibit parallel activity similar to that the real organic uh, benzene in terms of being planar aromatic displaying equal bond lengths carbon carbon bond lengths also showing downfill shifts for the ring proton and finally, they exhibit similar electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction as shown by real benzene. So, with that we conclude our discussion on transition metal aryl complexes which has been going on in the last two lectures and now we are going to move on to another very exciting class of transition metal 
sigma uh, complexes and these are transition metal sigma alkyne complexes. These transition metal alkenyl complexes are complexes with ligands of the type this there is a alkyne bond triple bond and these ligands are isoelectronic with with cyanide carbon monoxide nitrogen and even and these transition metal alkynyl complexes mirrors transition metal cyanide complexes with respect to to color and magnetic properties and the alkenyl ligand is strongly basic with regard to to the isoelectronics ligand carbon monoxide as well as RCN and undergoes hydrolytic cleavage. So, these transition metal alkenyl complexes undergo ready hydrolysis. So, one has to be extremely careful while preparing these complexes uh, to protect it from water and subsequent uh, uh, hydrolysis that it may undergo in water. These transition metal alkenyl complexes are prepared in ammonia, in ammonia solvent by following the following reaction K3 Cr Cn6 plus 6 sodium acetylide in liquid ammonia. minus 40 degree centigrade giving K3 Cr C CH whole 6 plus 6 NaCN. So, care must be taken in handling these compounds because these acetylite compounds are explosive in nature. and their order of thermal stability depends on aryl acetylide being more stable than HC acetylide which in turn is more stable than are C 2 N alkyl acetylide. Now, if one looks at this series, it is very obvious that this is more electron rich owing to the alkyl substituents. As a result, these compounds 
are more reactive and less stable. Whereas, the aryl groups being sp2 hybridized can siphon off some of the electron density from the acetylide moiety onto the aryl ring and therefore, these compounds are relatively less electron rich and hence they are more stable. Now, because of this exceptional electron richness of this alkanyl ligands with so many pi electrons or pi bonds being around it, transition metal alkanyl complexes tend to be polymeric in nature interacting with the transition metal where these pi clouds interact directly with transition metal. So, transition metal alkanyl complexes are polymeric are polymeric and this is primarily because of their electron rich nature. So, that they tend to bind more to metal ions through polymerization and in their polymeric form they are more stable to hydrolysis. but still are explosive. So, they usually form complexes with with copper 1, silver 1 and gold 1. These metals are also called carbophilic because they have special preference for forming complexes with this acetylate type of moiety. Here is an example of the formation of a copper acetylate complex which starts with copper iodide where copper is in plus 1 oxidation state that reacts with potassium acetylide to give copper acetylide which above 45 degree centigrade gives Cu2 C2 plus acetylene plus 2 Ki now interaction further interaction of copper with alkanyl ligand give coordination number 3 coordination number 3 to copper and that is illustrated by example over here. For example, here is a copper acetylide. Now, this copper interacts with the pi bond of another acetylide moiety and this pi bond now interacts with another copper acetylide moiety. So, what is seen over here that such kind of interaction leads to polymeric structure of this compound as was discussed over here. And another important aspect to note that these acetylide complexes are mainly formed of gold 1, copper 1, silver 1 which are late transition metal 
and uh, also are electron rich. As a result, they can form these acetylite complexes and the stabilize acetylize complexes via transition metal to ligand pi back donation, which is required for stabilizing this transition metal alkynyl kind of complexes. And because of their extreme basicity of these acetylide moieties, they stabilize themselves by polymerizing and binding to several metal centers as shown over here and thereby gaining some stability arising out of this reactivity of the acetylide moiety. Similar to copper, gold also forms gold acetylide complexes and an example of the preparation of gold alkaline complexes in provided below. AUCl3 in aqueous medium reacts with SO2 KBr giving AUBr2 minus where gold is in got reduced from plus 3 to plus 1 and then it reacts with acetylene in presence of sodium acetate to give this polymeric gold acetylite complex. Now, this gold acetylene co complex is polymeric in nature and the poly polymeric structure can be broken by addition of a dative ligand like PPH3 to give this monomeric gold triphenyl phosphine C R acetylide complex and this can be shown over here that this becomes monomeric and the structure of the polymeric gold acetylide is shown over here for a particular example tubutyl C, C gold interacting with C tubutyl gold. Now, each of these triple bond interacts with gold C tributyl and that interacts with another C tributyl and this interacts with uh, this. So, what one gets is a polymeric structure as mentioned here and which the polymeric framework can be broken by treatment with PPH3 as shown over here. Now, what is obvious over here that this polymeric framework stabilizes the exceptional re reactivity of 
extremely basic acetylide moiety which become very susceptible to hydrolysis and this stabilization is gained through polymerization. Another aspect which come to the fore is that the metal has to be in low oxidation state as in gold 1 over here as opposed to gold 3 over here for stabilizing this acetylide moiety and this stabilization thus arises from the transition metal to ligand pi back donation and this back donation arises because of low oxygen state of the transition metal but preferably late transition metal which are electron rich. Now, let me summarize the topics that has been discussed in this lecture. We have looked into an interesting transition metal sigma aryl complex in terms of the osma benzene or metallobenzene where metal is part of the benzene ring. This metallobenzene display parallel activity similar to that of benzene in many respects and mirror uh, the organic molecule benzene in many respects particularly with respect to their planarity, their aromaticity, the, the, the downfield shift of the proton resonance, uh, their aromatic electrophilic substitution reaction um, so on and so forth. We have also looked into uh, these transition metal alkynyl complexes uh, particularly with regard to their stability and synthetic protocols and what uh, we have seen is that transition metal alkynyl complexes are uh, mainly formed for of late transition metals mainly gold, copper, silver that too in their low oxygen state of plus 1 and these complexes uh, are polymeric in nature and their polymeric framework can be broken by addition of uh, dative uh, uh, ligands like PPH3 as we have observed in case of this gold as well as in uh, case of the copper example that we had discussed uh, in the uh, previous slide. So, with that let me conclude today's lecture on metal alkynyl complexes. We are going to discuss some more uh, examples of metal alkynyl complexes from the perspective of their utility, synthesis, stability and their applications and I look forward uh, uh, to being with you in the next lecture. Thank you.